federal investigation into an explosion that injured eight Evraz steel workers is underway in Pueblo. But 13 Investigates has learned federal inspectors raised workplace safety concerns and cited the Evraz mill with federal violations a number of times over the last decade. Chief investigative reporter Chelsea Brinsel is live to explain what some of those violations are and what the mill is saying tonight. Chelsea. Prior to Saturday's explosion, Evraz Steel Mill in Pueblo had been cited at least 19 times, paying out more than $150,000 for workplace safety violations in the last decade. A company spokesperson tells 13 Investigates the violations were addressed and that none of them are related to the recent explosion. Three Evraz steel workers remain in critical condition following this massive explosion at the Pueblo steel mill on Saturday. A spokesperson for the mill tells 13 investigates the Occupational Safety and Health Administration or OSHA inspectors are still looking into what led up to the explosion. But OSHA inspection records of Evraz reveal federal inspectors already had raised concerns about the safety of workers years before. In 2017, the steel mill was cited for exposing employees to an explosion. Federal inspectors wrote the employer did not furnish employment and a place of employment which were free from recognized hazards that were causing or likely to cause death or serious physical harm to employees. In July 2016, OSHA ordered Evraz to pay more than $100,000 for 10 serious safety violations along with one repeat violation. The OSHA area officer director back then wrote Evraz needs to fix these hazards before someone is injured or worse. In March 2011, OSHA ordered Evraz to pay nearly $50,000 for one repeat violation, five serious violations, and two other violations following a safety inspection. The OSHA director for the area back then said Evraz failed to provide its employees with a safe and healthful workplace. Tonight, a spokesperson for Evraz says the safety of its employees is the highest priority and they continually strive to provide the safest possible workplace. It's unclear how long the current investigation into the steel mill will take. Reporting in the newsroom, Chelsea Brensel, 13 Investigates.